Hi, you guys. Welcome back to First Impression Friday, where I go through a new pattern company every single week, and we kind of discuss all of their patterns or their women's patterns for <laughs> fit, fabrication, overall design, and a lot more. The girls are obviously going crazy right now, so please bear with me until they can calm down. But real quick, before we get into Ellie and Max patterns and them a little bit as a company, uh, I wanted to go ahead and tell you to like this video so other people will find it, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you want to be notified of all of my First Impression Friday videos. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes, and I love sharing that passion with you. Uh, please uh, introduce yourself in the comment section below um, so I can get to know you a little bit better. But let's get to know Ellie and Mac. So the coolest thing that I think about them is that it's owned by a woman named Lindsay and she spells it with an E, which is amazing. Um, she's got a great little like story about how she became a pattern designer um, and the name Ellie and Mac, kind of where that comes from. Um, then she has listed out her entire team and each one of them has also left like a really sweet like bio and you know how invested they are into sewing or DIY and all of that. So that is really nice. Um, and looking at their sewing patterns, I also wanted to point this out because this is something that's a little bit rare, but look down here how they have their patterns listed by fabric type. I love this. There are so many times where I'm like, I have a fabric in my stash and I want to find a pattern suitable for that fabric. And you have to go through the entire website and analyze for yourself. Is it woven, knit? But she has them all broken down for you, even down to where it's like a little bit of both, which I absolutely love. All right, so they have a ton, probably hundreds of sewing patterns. We are not going to be able to go through all of them today, so we're going to be a little bit selective. I'm going to try and find the ones that are not necessarily unique, but you know, something that's just like a dolman top. There's not much to analyze about a dolman top, right? It's two rectangles sewn together at the side seams and finished off a neckline. So we'll skip stuff like that. Obviously kids patterns, uh, we will skip and men's patterns we will skip as well. I'm probably going to skip over anything that looks like an accessory or like a, you know, like a swimsuit, underwear, lingerie, anything in that category. But you guys feel free to go to elianmac.com yourself and look at all the patterns that I'm not looking at today. There are just seriously so many. This video would be five hours long. <laughs> all right, so we have the Staycation tiered peplum and dress pattern. Also, at the time of this video, all of their adult patterns are half off. Um, first of all, $10 is not that much. That's on the lower end of the price point. Um, and then half off is less than five bucks. So that's really nice. All right. So product description. Oh, look at these beautiful, cute little line drawings. I wish they got bigger, but they don't. It's also one of those companies that has a ton, a ton, a ton of tester photos. Um, so you can see it on a whole bunch of different body shapes, a whole bunch of different sizes, um, different fabrics and all of that great stuff. So, oh, and they have a cute little video. Let's watch this. Hi friends, it's Deanna oh, this is Deanna here today. And today we're working on the staycation dress and top. So it looks like a sew along for the staycation dress. So that's great. Um, you can get step-by-step -step video instruction on that. All right. The staycation tiered peplum and dress pattern has you covered the whole year round, whether you need a casual outfit for the beach or a stylish outfit to go out to dinner. A tiered peplum or dress is suitable for every occasion. This pattern is loaded with options to allow you to make the peplum or dress that you want. Tiered skirt in peplum length, knee length, and maxi length options, and short three-quarter and long sleeve options. I think you will love this pattern. So three lengths and three sleeves. Am I getting that right? And then this is their size chart. Again, it does not get bigger than this. So that's a little annoying. Um, and then she has a fabric recommendation of 50% four-way lightweight drapey stretch knit fabrics. They do not advise stable knits. Again, this is really little. It doesn't get bigger. Um, and then here are the features we went over, what's included in the pattern, which includes AO or copy shop um, files, as well as a projector file for those of you that are getting into that. Um, and then there's some information about Facebook. Okay. 
So a little disappointing that all of this is just like landing in this sidebar here and we can't get any of that information. It's not even listed as a photo. Oh, I correct myself. The, this chart is, but it doesn't get any bigger than this. Um, I'm double tapping and everything. It's not getting bigger. There's no magnifying glass anywhere. But from what I can tell is their size range goes from 2XS up to 6XL. And that means that their bust goes from 29 inches to 63 inches. And their hips go from 33 and a half inches up to 67 inches. Um, and this one must be centimeters. Okay. And based on a, well, curvy fit patterns are based on the average height of 5'5". Five five. I don't know about the straight fit patterns, but. All right. So let's look at some of these photos. Um, did it say, yeah, lightweight knit. So you've got your bodice and then optional number of tiers, depending on how many you want to do. This bodice is a little bit long on her. Um, probably like a couple of inches, maybe. But this is also the short sleeve. She also made, well, I don't know if she made it to be a little bit more roomy or if that is the design. I guess we'll get the idea of that as we move through these. But we have, I have to click on one and then scroll back up. So please don't get dizzy. So this is a little bit more close fitting and the waist is in the right place. So that's actually the downside of tester photos, although it's great because you get so many different options. You're really relying on the skill set of this person who may have been sewing for one month, may have been sewing for their entire life. You just never really know what you're going to get. Um, but here is the three quarter length knee length. It's super cute. Um, I mean, yes, of course, it's a little bit basic. I mean, it's really just like, you know, a t-shirt bodice with some tears, but you know, there's some room in my life for something like that. Um, as much as I've been loving wearing, uh, that other, the Alana dress, this should be no different. Yeah. I'm getting the feeling that the fit, uh, on this one on her, she just made hers a little bit big. Um, cause everybody else's is fitting a little bit closer in the bust and the waistline is hitting in the right spot too. So again, we're going to just look at a bunch of different knit fabrics. You guys get an idea of the, um, fit and the different styles that you have. This was the one on the cover. I do like how people are making it in these different fabrics that kind of go together, but aren't the same. That's really fun. Here's a belted one. In my opinion, you could really make the bodice needs to be like a jersey, but this stuff can be anything you want. Just like she did this, like, I don't know, stretch lace or something. I feel like the peplums can be really anything. So it's a cute take on a little t-shirt, right? All right, so that is the staycation dress. Next we have asymmetrical cinch top oh sorry that i did a quick view didn't realize asymmetrical cinch top pattern um this one is described as um features raglan sleeves a pretty side cinch <laughs> and three neckline options cowl crew and v-neck again there is a sew along and fabric recommendations are Lightweight knits that don't have a lot of structure and do have a nice drape, like rayon blends, brushed polyester. I don't know about brushed polyester in terms of do not have a lot of structure. I feel like there is some structure to brushed poly, but either way, jersey and ITY. So this is what we're working with. Cute, right? So it is an asymmetrical, like high low to the side and then you've also got some ruching here on the side I think that's what she means by cinch we'll see if we can find some side view photos but I'm looking at this cowl I am I love cowl necks in the fall um, and winter I think they're so nice oh and the cowl even has like a little bit of a drawstring situation too so that's kind of cool here is that ruching. So this is really that same detail that I fell in love with this summer. Do you guys remember that center front that's like um, burgundy sweater I posted that has the center front ruching? It's done the same way as this. But that's the crew neck. Oh, here it is from the back. You know, I'm not in love with this like dramatic 
tail thing, I just feel like that's going to get stuck in the door and like just be really annoying. But this cinch thing does, it, it does pique my interest. I do like that detail a lot. There's the crew neck again. What's the, is it crew, V, and, yeah, and cowl. So here's the V-neck. Very high V-neck, very conservative. Um, and I think everybody has, no, there's two different, three different sleeve lengths, too. So, yeah, maybe more of, like, a layering piece. Oh, I was going to say layering piece, but you'd have to, like, size up and, yeah, never mind. That's silly. It should just be a top. <laughs> it should just be what it is, right? Okay, cute for yoga. All right, I'm here for this as an athleisure vibe. That's kind of cool, right? Because it does have raglan sleeves. That's a little bit sportier. Yeah, what do you guys think about this little dramatic swoosh? Great with leggings, I think. I think that that would be the way to wear it best because um, it covers all your parts in the back and the front, but still gives you like a leg line, you know, some body, like you, you have a figure, you know, with it. Cute. And different, right? We don't see anything like that very often. And I have to commend that when we do see it, even though a lot of, even though sometimes I'm like, it's too much, I appreciate that it's there to begin with. All right, so here's an oversized t-shirt. You guys can go check that out. Straight fit jogger pants. Um, there is an adult romper pattern bundle. So maybe we'll look at the bundle. I mean, $24 for how many patterns? Vacation romper, cold shoulder jumper, summer nights romper, south shore romper, and off the shore, off shoulder romper. That's five. So five times five is 25, right? Yes. So it's essentially the same price as buying them individually. So that's kind of annoying. But um, we'll be able to look at all five of them in this one thing. Is that going to be confusing? Maybe we should go through them individually. Yeah, let's let's ignore the bundle for now. We'll come across them um, here shortly and go through them that way. So we're going to forego all of the bundles and capsules. Here's an oversized tee. You guys can go check that out. Twist up top pattern bundle. More bundles. Bundles. Adult crossover top and dress pattern. All right, let's take a look at this one. So we've got a wrap top, right? Dolman crossover top, awesome rounded hemline or pencil skirt dress. Adding a fun strap to the neckline is optional. Okay. All right. So it looks like she has chosen to style hers a little bit off her shoulder, but you've got the dolman sleeve. It wraps and then is sewn into a skirt. Or is this the same thing? Because that looks like two different patterns to me, right? I love when that happens. Yeah, so you have this little wrap top, which is so cute. Here's the little, um, what did she call it? Strap. So if you're worried about it falling off your shoulders, you can sew in this little strap. It does look like it's just top stitched though, but nonetheless, it's an option. It does look quite cozy, right? I don't mind like an off the shoulder thing. If it just happens to casually fall over, you know, that's kind of like sexy without being too much. Cute. That's like a shorter sleeve. Yeah, the top and the dress look so different. But really, really cool. I like it a lot. I was hoping to get more of the, here's another dress, but she, no, I was, I thought she, maybe she made hers A-line, but she didn't. So cute little sweater dress, right? Even though it's fitted through the hip, it's very voluminous in the top, which kind of balances that out nicely. You know, it doesn't come across as, you know, being too much, um, because they're balanced so well. Yeah, I like how big the top is. I get some of you were like, no, that would be so annoying having that fall off my shoulder all the time. So, all right, cool. I don't really understand how that is a twist. Oh, no, was that not the twist? What was that? Um, oh, crossover top. Okay, cool. More bundles. Here is a puff sleeve peplum dress and bodysuit pattern. We'll take a quick look at this. 
I wish these were bigger. They look like they put so much work into them and you just cannot see them. All right, so amazing options. A wrap peplum top and dress with more or less covered neckline. I don't know what that means. A bodysuit with three neckline options, wrap, scoop, and turtleneck, and three sleeve lengths. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, okay, so that's how they're getting the puff sleeve. It's more of like a ruching detail than it is like a gather. Well, maybe it's both. That sleeve's cute. So you gather it into the arm side and you also ruch uh, through the top of it. So it's like double the, double the fun. <laughs> double the fun. She made hers into, is that a leotard? A bodysuit? She's just showing us by pulling her pants down. I don't know what's happening there. That's the peplum. Again, the waist seam looks spot on. That's really nice to see. Yeah, a little bit hard to tell with this fabric because it is so, like, kind of splotchy, but. Yeah, is this have a, yeah, body, these women are making these bodysuits. They look so good. This is nice. I really like this. I really like this one. I was trying to get a view of some of the different necklines. There's the little turtleneck. How cute is that? I love that outfit. I was trying to find, again, some more necklines. Is this a V? Or that's the wrap. Oh, it's like more of a proper waistband. I missed that part. Yeah, it's more of like a waistband. That's interesting. I don't know that that's necessary. Uh, color blocking. Okay, fair enough. I'll give you that. This is like the circle skirt dress. Let's find a jumpsuit. Come on. Nobody made a jumpsuit. No one made a jumpsuit. Well, bummer. I would make a jumpsuit. But what did it even look like? There is no jumpsuit. What am I talking about? Peplum dress and bodysuit. Good Lord. There is no jumpsuit. There is a peplum, a dress, and a bodysuit, and that is it. This one's cute. That I would that would go on my short list for sure. I love that sleeve. I do kind of hate how we have to keep scrolling down here. Um, all right, so bundle, bundle. There's that dress. Reversible bundle, bundle, bundle. I wish the bundles were separate. Like, you know, um, here is a cuddle tunic. Um, it's just a little knit tunic, bundle, 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 Chapman bundle, 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 bundle. Okay. Straight fit raglan, um, unisex. It looks like so you can get a little raglan tee. Tank any be invincible scorch pattern. This looks interesting. So we've got no description. Oh wait, just kidding. Just out of order a little bit. Um, I fell in love with the idea of a high-low hemline skirt with built-in shorts underneath. I love the comfort and ease. You can make an open skirt that reveals the short or longer shorts, or you can make a wrap front skirt that hides the shorts. This is very interesting. So you can see it here. Open front so the shorts show. Are the shorts just like biker shorts though? Or the wrap that completely hides them? Again, very different and unique. Um, I was trying to see fabric. Four way, 50% stretch fabric. So that's pretty stretchy stuff, um, especially four way. I mean, how cool is that? There's shorts under there. You genuinely would never know. It has like a nice deep waistband. I love that she made a matching tank top. That is just the coolest outfit. Like, you win, lady. Like, it's so awesome. Here, okay, so this is when, okay, okay. Not my style, but I definitely see where she was going. It's definitely fun, and I'm sure lots of people comment on it. Cute polka dots. A roller skating outfit. Wow. Okay. Okay. Here it is from the side. 
I bet when she skates around, that skirt just like, because look, it's like a full circle skirt. So it's got some movement, you know? Um, here it is in a lovely little like rayon print. I will say for me, and just because I may be the only one in the world that notices stuff like this, but I would have to find a fabric that was not printed. Uh, because seeing all of this white underneath would just drive me bonkers. Um, it's not hard to do, um, but you'd have to find one where it was actually knitted um, and not just printed on a knitted fabric, which also means usually that it's a little bit more expensive, but um, it can be done. So this is, um, I always talk to you guys about drape. This is a less drapey fabric compared to a more drapey fabric. Falls closer to the body, right? And the more stable fabrics stand away from the body. That's a really good comparison next to each other. She's sitting down so I can't see anything. I want to see more of the open ones. Hold on, let me find some. Well, yeah, the open one is a little bit of a look, so I can see why not a lot of people chose to make it. But yeah, if you're going on a cruise, actually, this is the wrap one. If you're going on a cruise or you're doing something like tropical or like South Beach or, you know, something like that, make the open front one. I think it's super, super cool. All right. Next. Wait, we were at the top of this, I think. Yeah, um, slow Sunday top and dress pattern. It's your basic tank dress. It does have a little bit of flare in the bottom of the skirt. Um, cute, comfortable. This will be another good example to add a um, shelf bra to if it doesn't have one already. Vacation bundle. There is a cardigan pattern. Look at that little cutie. Um, there is the So Scrappy Top. This one, I've seen a couple of different versions of these, not at the $5 price point, um, but you can see there's all these different little pattern pieces, so you can sew up some of your scraps, which is really nice. Um, for me, though, my scraps are always so, like, different. They wouldn't necessarily coordinate, but it might be a fun challenge to, to dig around in there and find some and maybe they're not perfectly coordinated, but it would still be fun. <laughs> it looks to me like a lot of these people bought their fabric for this. Oh, that one's really pretty. I feel like I have this fabric or had something like that. And then, because that's not super matchy matchy, but she made it work. Is this part of the design? These little sleeve bands? They are. That's cool. And then hooded or not. Fun. Um, all right. Transformer jacket pattern. Does the, oh the jacket transforms to a bag. Look! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, I know that there are those of you out there who are like Maybe it's just like a southern thing with like the humidity, but like when it starts to, um, I don't know, I don't know which season it is, but you go into these restaurants or stores or whatever, and they have the AC blasting, and your skin is like a little bit dewy from the moisture outside, and you're just instantly freezing. But who likes to carry around a jacket? This is literally a backpack that tucks into a jacket. Like, you just bundle it all up. That is really, really smart. I mean, not that I'm super in love with the design of this jacket. Like, this square here, not the biggest fan of that. But the just, like, practicality of it all, just, I'm like, I don't even really care what the design looks like. It's just so cool that you can just pack it all up. Talk about traveling, you know, all that stuff. I'm sure she has this in a kid's version, too. Those of you that have kids and they're always losing their jackets, not anymore. Not anymore. All right, here is the Summer Nights Romper and Two-Piece Set Pattern. We have optional front slash pockets, four sleeve options, capri or full length pants options, 
you can make a top and pants set or a romper. How fun is that? Fabric is knit. I'm assuming, yeah. 50% four-way stretch knit fabrics. All right, so let's see if we can tell what's going on here. Oh, not from that photo. Yeah, I don't know. Are we going to be able to tell what is a romper and what is the two-piece? You do have this, like, ruffly top, though. Or, like, a more fit. Is that the ruffly top? I can't tell. These fabrics are going to be all a little hard to see. That's probably the romper, right? Here's the back side. The fit looks really good. And in this drapey fabric, this little off-the-shoulder thing is so nice. Look how cute. It does pop up onto the shoulders. They do that. So yeah, this is the romper version, I think. I don't know. Hard to tell. That's the two-piece set. Okay. The top is super cute. Oh, here's like the without the ruffle. What that looks like. I mean, I guess that's the whole point, that you can't really tell what's a romper and what's a two-piece set. But if you're someone who likes the look of like an all-in-one set but just cannot fathom getting naked in the bathroom well she has solved that for you how cool is that right like she's like still buy my romper pattern but i will show you how to make it two pieces i think this is the two piece you can see the band right but everybody basically made it in coordinating fabrics, which again, I guess is the whole point. But I think with the two pieces, you get a band on the bottom of the top and a band on the top of the pant. Oh no, she hurt her leg. I mean, the two piece set, well, maybe not quite like pajamas, but these gotta feel a lot like pajamas, <laughs> those pants, right? All right, what is next? We have the not so basic pants pattern because they have this little ruffle hem we do talk about quite uh, pants quite a bit here so let's take a look at some of these photos are they knit pants wide leg capri wide leg full length wide leg ruffled wide leg non-ruffled in both links legging there's just a lot of links and a lot of ruffles um yeah, your four-way 50% stretch fabric again. So leggings with ruffles. What do we think about that? I mean, real cute on a pregnant person. Here she is in the shorter version. I feel like I had some ruffle legging capris. Now that version is actually, I think what you have to do with these ruffles is lean in. Like lean in deep. So making cheetah or leopard, whatever animal that is, th that's a look. It just looks a lot more intentional. And then here it is without the ruffle, obviously, just like a normal pant. What does the waistband look like? Is it just a fold-over waistband? Is anybody going to give me a crop top? Yeah, it's like a sewn-in, not fold-over, but like a, a knit band. A knit band. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, leaning in and going full on is the way to go. It's also a little bit uh, mid-rise. It's not fully, and maybe this is just on her, but it's not fully at her waistline. It's a little bit below that. She's sitting. You're not going to be able to see anything there. And hers, well, hers goes up to somewhat of a natural waist. She has a straighter figure more of a triangle but I don't see anybody else's waistbands I don't think yeah the lighter and drapier you can make them the better you just run the risk of it being like clingier through the butt um and a tunic is really just kind of like a lot for this the styling of this is really really cute um you know, with the tight t-shirt and then like the ruffle cardigan, but you're like, your bum is all the way out, <laughs> you know, and it's like a close fitting pant. So, all right. So now we're at the forever flounce pattern. This one feels very ready to wear. Um, I think we've got some sleeve options. Yeah. Long sleeves, short sleeves or tank top. 
quick and easy to sew. I'm assuming that the, because this is a knit pattern, I think maybe all of her patterns are knits. Um, you're not finishing this. This is all raw. Or maybe you do like a rolled situation. What do we think about the asymmetry of this? I know you guys know I don't like a one shoulder pattern, but this one has a shoulder and also just a detail on the side. Does that look like off balance or weird? I, I don't know. I kind of think I like it. Or you can put them on both, but then you start running the risk of uh, looking like a um, Power Ranger, right? Weren't they the ones that had the like princess scene costumes? <laughs> the one with the long sleeve is kind of nice. The one ruffle with the long sleeve, that feels a little more intentional. I wonder if anyone did like one ruffle and one long sleeve. Like if you did the ruffle here, no sleeve, and then a long sleeve here, would that be weird? Here's one that looks really cute. Just out of like a cotton. Like how cool is she, right? With her little reflective sunglasses and just a white tee. Love that. Here's a color block situation standing out. Fun. I like the bands in the color block. I would have done this in the fashion fabric though. Just me. Oh, here's a color block version too. Nice. A little little bat wing esque, but listen, ain't nothing wrong with a bat. Oh, and she did hers with just like a little bit of lace. Yeah, you really could use any fabric you wanted for this. It doesn't necessarily have to be even stretchy. Um, so that's something interesting to think about. You could do like a tool or I don't know, something really different. <laughs> All right. Next we have wrapped in love dress pattern. I think this is just a basic wrap dress. Maybe not. Hold on. Oh, the skirt is a wrap, but the bodice is not. Um, sexy leg slit, classic boat neckline. Yeah, all of her necklines are, or I guess I should say all of her, like, not, well, even her v-necks are kind of high. She makes very conservative necklines. So those of you that are um, concerned about showing any cleavage, I think that you would like all these. So yeah, this is a regular bodice, knit bodice, a little something funky going on here with the sleeve going so high on her shoulder. But then the skirt is a wrap. So do you still just pull it on because it's stretchy, I guess? A lot of color blocking. Oh, that's actually quite pretty. The velvet on top and then whatever this is on the bottom, that's nice. I wouldn't have thought to do just different textures, but the same color. Yeah, so I'm guessing you just pull this on. It's got to be comfortable. And you only have the one length, too, I think. All right, next up we have Adult Athleisure Capsule. Something to check out. Pull over shawl collar sweater pattern. That's super cool. Then you have, although he doesn't look very happy about it, pattern capsule book club top pattern. What does that mean? Book club? It was Pinterest inspired. Make your own amazing color blocked tops to fall in love with. Well, I don't know why it's called the book club top pattern. Oh, cute. Yeah, three different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally get it. This is happening because her differential feed on her serger isn't set up right. Um, so check out your manuals. Do I have a video on differential feed? I can't remember. I know I cover it in my serger basics class on Skill Pop. cute right like it is pretty simple and straightforward but you can make like really really cute designs this will be another really great scrappy project 
maybe it's called the book club pattern because you can sew it up so quickly that if you have a book club meeting that night, you can have something new to wear to it. <laughs> I don't know. I just made that up. Okay. All right. Now paperback pants. I think I'm gonna have a lot to say about this. Um, let's see. Pulse pant on trend. Have you feeling your best? Comfortable. Elastic waistband design and knit fabric come together to make easy pull on pant with cut with cut sash detail. What's a cut sash? Pants can be capri length or full length. All right. So again, it gets a little bit weird whenever we're looking at um, tester makes, especially with pants. Hers look great. This is that same little. No, it's not the same. Who uh, the bodysuit earlier? That's what I thought that that was. Maybe she's the bodysuit girl. So hers are very close fitting. A good fit through the crotch, though. Here's the front. Yeah, she made hers more like a legging. A lot of a lot of hands in the pockets. Hands in the pockets make me nervous as someone who's looking at these photos because it's making me think that they're trying to hide something. Like they're pulling the pants crotch down because maybe there's some camel toe or they're too tight. And so they're like pulling them away from their body a little bit. You know what I mean? Here's a cute pair. A little bit of wrinklage in the crotch. But I do feel like the ease is closer. We don't get a back view. More hands in the pockets. I'm not going to look at any more photos with hands in the pockets. Hands in the pockets are like a telltale to me. Yeah, just hard to tell with the, her pose. Here's one. So she made hers very loose fitting. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to tell. Are these supposed to be like a jogger style or literally everyone has their hands in their pockets? <laughs> oh my gosh. Jogger style or like a legging? Hand in the pocket. Hand in the pocket. Hand in the pocket. And in the pocket. This is hands on hips, I think. Yeah, this one's a little bit hard because it's just, I don't know. Or it's hard to tell whether we're doing like what the ease is supposed to be. And without knowing that, it's hard to tell what's really happening in the crotch. Plus, we're not getting a lot of back views. The only back views we got are, I think, three of them. But I will say, Sometimes with high waisted pants, especially paper bag, it can look diaperish, and these do not. So I really do appreciate that out of everyone who was brave enough to show us their backsides. You guys are never going to look at photos with hands in the pockets the same again. Maybe I'm just like not that trustworthy of people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. But I see those and I'm like, you're trying to cover something up. <laughs> you're hiding something. All right. So we've got another bundle up there. This is a men's short pattern or just an active short pattern. I, I kind of like how she doesn't refer to men's or women's. She's just all adults. Like a woman could wear that. A man could wear the hoodie. You know what I mean? Um, all right. Be creative hoodie pattern. If you want to check out a hoodie capsule. Here's another romper. This is the off the shoulder romper. Again, made out of knits. So, and the, the, oh, that got bigger. So it's the same bodice, raglan sleeve, a little knit band across the shoulder, um, and like sewn onto a jogger that can be either a short or full or tall I think she's calling it um that's what we already saw she's sitting down cute right very very cute very on trend very fabletics if you um, know that brand adorable perfect hands in the pockets though <laughs> yeah this is like cool casual she did dress hers up though I appreciate that as well again was this the same woman that had the um the leopard print earlier Okay, here is the back side. She is leaning into one hip, so it's a little bit hard to tell, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, there's no, like, what I would be fearful of in these knits is that there would be, like, sagginess, <laughs> but there doesn't seem to be that much on there, so that's good. 
sunflower field. How cute. This is too long in the crotch for her. Um, she's probably petite, and so she would have needed to shorten the bodice and probably the rise um, to get everything sitting straight. Is that the same pattern? Wow, it looks like a top and pants. Cute. Let's see if we can find some other really nice ones. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Really good. I do feel like this is sitting mid-rise. Um, so just keep that in mind if you would prefer it to sit at your natural waist where you get more definition. You would need to increase the rise. But I do feel like that's also reflective of the line drawings. Um, it does look to have a long line bodice. So that's good that they, they match up. All right. We're all getting close to the end of this page. Another swimsuit, a tray bell wrap pattern. So this one has the bodice wrap and then the gathered skirt. Paper bag skirt pattern in a few links. Anticipation dress pattern. I wonder what that means. Sleeve flounce option, no flounce option. Uh, features a high front neckline with a sexy plunge low neck in the back, lace overlay or not, cascading sleeve flounce or elbow length sleeves. Again, with the white of the fabric showing, it just... That's cute. With the boot and like the wheat grass, <laughs> it's like a whole mood. It is very close fitting, you know, no getting around that. But the scoop is low, but it's not like aggressively low. The lace overlay is really cute. All right, girlfriend, you go to the park with your dog barefoot in your fancy dress. Right? I mean, it's low, but it's not super, super low. You can't even see her dress. There's the elbow. Let's look at some more of these droopy sleeves. Okay. Yeah. See, she looks really nice. Really nice for whatever event this was for when we had events. All right. I'm just going to scroll to the bottom and then scroll up from there. We have to be getting close to the bottom of the page. I told you she had a lot of patterns. We still got like four pages to go. Um, petal top pattern with nursing access so you can get up into it from the bottom. Cute. Um, tank, a basic tank pattern, spaghetti straps. We have the Monday morning dress pattern, which is a skater dress. Chill hoodie. Miami wrap top. Yeah. Let's take a look at this one. So, it is a wrap top with different sleeve options. So, short peasant, double flounce, or exaggerated bell sleeve options, crop or peplum length options, and wrap around body ties. You can make this so many ways. So, there it is with the little peplum. So sweet, right? And little flutter sleeve is so nice. Here's the crop, which I actually prefer. Well, not with low-waisted jeans for me. I would wear it with high-waisted pants. Instead of tucking it in, you make the crop version. Tucking in for me right now is just not not comfortable. It, it doesn't feel as flattering, even though it's the same proportions. It's just, I'm just not a fan. So I'd much rather make a crop top than, wow, look at those sleeves. Yes, queen. She is owning everything about this. She's just like got the right personality for these sleeves. I bet those photos came in to the Ellie and Mac team and they were like jumping up and down. Look how amazing. It's like um, Selena, right? Doesn't she have one of oh, the singer the um, that J-Lo did the movie on? Doesn't she have a um, bodysuit with these big, huge sleeves? Here's some more modest little flounce, shorter flounce. You guys get the idea. Here's some more crop patterns. See how it just, it's just flatter. 
even though you're not showing anything, nothing's being tucked in. There's no bubbling or anything weird going on under here. It just all lays flat, which I really like. And she made the dramatic, well, I guess she made the double flounce, short peasant double flounce or exaggerated bell. I don't know. It's hard to tell which one she made. Here it is from the back. Cute. Really cute. Um, we are still scrolling. All right. So bundle, be genuine, which has the shoulder cutouts, which I don't see a lot of people making those anymore. Um, this is the jersey skirt pattern. It's just like a circle skirt with an asymmetrical hem. South Shore Romper. Take a quick look at this just to get all the details. Looks like a wrap top and then side seam pockets, four sleeve options, and three pant length options. That's the shorts. Super cute. Little bell sleeve. Love that. There's the side seam pocket. A little color blocking. I like the bell sleeves. Bell sleeves are annoying to wear, but they do look really cute. Yep. I feel like a lot of, see, recognize a lot of these fabrics from Joanne. Oh, well, that's freaking cute. I like making it look like two separate pieces. That's fun and different. But all one fabric looks really great, too. Nice. It even has, like, some design, some kind of gathering or pleat or something in the, uh, in the pants. Let's see if I can find pants in the pockets. No, maybe it's all just gathered in. Hard to tell. All right. If I had seen Ellie and Mac patterns two weeks ago, maybe this is what I would have, that pattern is what I would have used for the ITY knit. I couldn't find anything to do with. This one is the twist it up top. So we've seen a few designers do this little twisty situation. But again, are people still wearing? Like, do we see that in stores still? This one also feels really long. Like, I don't want a twisty thing right at my crotch. So I would have shortened it a little bit. Um... I, but I don't, where does that thing supposed to hit? I don't know. This is confusing. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite like the other twisty ones. Um, it's more of like a, I don't know how to explain it. But the length of that, well, hers is better. Hers is better. I, this is in the same place as the other ladies. I know. I know. And for me, with my belly, this just feels like this would accentuate it. But I do love a cowl neck. But I think I'll just go for a plain straight hem. This was the last one, right? Okay. So, three more pages to go. We have a High Hopes Dolman. So, you've got your Dolman sleeve with a band on the bottom. This one is a Be Dreamy dress, which is just your basic bodice it has your flutter sleeve and a maybe quarter circle skirt maybe half that you can do high low pay attention to how your fabric is printed or full length long sleeve skater dress maybe higher waistline there um okay here's a jacket let's take a look at a jacket so product whoa fancy the duchess um, the boutique style silhouette is classy and chic, not only has incredible twirl factor, but it keeps you warm while looking elegant at the same time. So not much about the details. Fabric. Made using sturdy woven fabric. It's the first woven pattern we've come across. Medium to heavyweight wovens for the exterior, like jacquard, cashmere, wool, blends, wool, tweed, mohair, corduroy, velveteen, faux fur, silk, satin, etc. for the lining. Okay. So it's double breasted. It has a bit of a like stand collar. And then I guess the real gem of it all 
is this circle skirt like bottom. So a thousand percent, you can wear it like a dress, which is what I think she's done here. I mean, so high fashion. Or you could, yeah, wear it over leggings. Yep, there are some things that those of us who have sewn jackets, sewn with wovens, we know that having a lining that goes right to the edge is not normal. <laughs> Normally there would be a facing there, your hem would be turned under. So this is like a beginner basic. You can see how it's literally just sewn right to the edge. So that's not my favorite. Um, but only because, you know, I've sewn jackets where it's done right way, better way, preferred way, however you want to word it. It will be simpler. A lot of set-in sleeve issues on these testers. Yeah, if you're going from knits to wovens, it's going to be a tough ride, you know. Um, just, uh, speaking of the designer. Um, it's going to be really difficult to get that just right. It's not in the line drawings and almost everybody has puckers and some weirdness at the top, making me think that her sleeve cap of her sleeve design, well, this is, did she make a matching umbrella or did she make a matching umbrella? Let's get some more of these photos. Amazing. It, the, this part matches her lining. Um, so yeah. Good of her to try. This sleeve looks amazing, but one of few and far between that we've seen like that, right? So again, is it the sleeve design or is it the sewist? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. But those photos are amazing. Look at this one. Wow. So cool. Yes. Give me that sass. She's really feeling herself. I love that. And that's all that matters, right? Is these people make these garments and they love them. Okay. Lucky one top and dress pattern. Just has the little shoulder slits. You got a little panties pattern, a color block um, t-shirt, basically with buttons down the back. <laughs> this one's really cute. The adult everywhere with the little yokes. Love that. Very ready to wear. Um, I feel like you would see that in the stores. Good vibes jogger. This is a bundle. A zip up hoodie. Bundle, 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 bundle. Autumn spice, another color blocking situation. We're starting to see like kind of the same silhouettes now. You know, you can only do a t-shirt so many different ways. Um, this around the block hoodie is cute. With like, it's like a cowl. Cowl plus a hood, maybe? Or just straight up hood? Features an angled color block bodice and sleeves. The wrap around hood with core detail is the perfect touch. You'll love how you feel in it. Wrap around hood. Oh, it wraps around and, and, and ties on the side. That is very interesting. Cute. And again, when she says color block, these testers really go for it. I didn't know what she was holding up at first. Yeah, the the one color block is really nice. Three is hard to pull off, finding three fabrics that coordinate. But doing the one, that's really cool. Hers look really good because they're all in like the same tone. You know, they're all in the same sort of family, tone-wise. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of variety in terms of ease. Some people sized down, some people sized up. Um, it really just depends. But I like the little angles. And getting that, it, it does seem like, can I just take a hoodie pattern and slash it through and do my own? Yes, you can. But I've tried to do that before. And getting it just right on the sleeve is actually way harder than, than it looks. Do you remember the Valentine's Day dress that I did that had the pink and red and burgundy? That's the one I'm talking about. For those of you that have been around for a minute, a zip up hoodie, a to the point tunic. So it's the same silhouette as some of those other fit and flare dresses. This one actually doesn't have a waist seam though. 
right and just has the point in the front. What do we think about the point in the front? Especially on the tunic links. <laughs> um, what's it pointing to? And also just seeing this with the boots and the leggings, is it giving us um, Star Trek vibes? Star Trek, is that the right one? It's got to be beyond comfortable. Super cute. I just don't know about the point. What do we think about the point? The point in the tops is a lot, right? Like all I see is what the point is pointing to. And it's not pointing to anatomy or anything, but like it's a little bit distracting. Oh, look at this version. I see versions that I like, um, but I also see versions I don't like. And so that means it's a bit of a risk, <laughs> you know, which side of the aisle is mine going to fall on. I do like it in this lighter weight. So the point isn't so obvious. It's more of like a drape, but a center front point, man, that is, that's a bold design choice. Bold design choice. All right. So next up, Cardigan Love. This is a very straightforward cardigan. Um, they are doing the long line, which is very on trend for this fall in particular. But not much to it. Right? Open front does have this little bit of a cascade. That's a really pretty fabric. Um, but very straightforward. Yeah, long line vest, a thousand percent. Such a cute outfit. Oh, we already saw hers. So fabric hog, yes, but maybe something that you will reach for over and over again. All right, I bet at this point you guys are glad I'm kind of speeding through these as best I can. All right, adult Luna jacket pattern. So this is interesting. It's a zip front, gathered waist, like peplum jacket that is partially lined. And also color blocked with this band. Lightweight hooded jacket has two length side seam pockets, double banded hem, and long fitted cuffs. Okay, not a fan of it with jeans, I don't think. But maybe I just don't like jeans anymore. Oh, the lace is cute on that one. Let's see this. Yeah, I think fabric choice is a little bit critical here. Let's see what the knee highs. Um, it's kind of, it's like a dress and a jacket had a baby. So I, it's a little difficult to know how to style this where it just feels right. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'd lean into the hoodie casual aspect like she did wear with leggings make this out of like a real casual jersey knit and just have like a really girly fancy frilly hoodie <laughs> and trying to make it look like clothes I think is where I'm getting a little bit lost trying to make it look like something more than it is you know what I mean? Cute idea, though. Really cute idea. All right. Now we've got the ruched tee. Okay, so this is almost nearly identical to the one that I sewed earlier this year with the ruching up the center front. I think mine was a big, I know it was a big four pattern. I can't remember. McCall, Simplicity, Butter. I can't remember who it was. So it looks like we've got ruching up the back, ruching up the front. Slim fit, fitted, and relaxed, all three in one pattern. That's cool. Um, tank short and three quarters and long sleeves or long sleeves with thumb holes. So that's five sleeve options. There's the three fit options and crop or shirt length. Okay, so let's see where we can. So the ruching in the back with the ties down at your bum. I don't know about that as a choice, but that looks a lot better when she tucked it in. See, not tucked in, tucked in. Tell me I shouldn't be a spy. 
<laughs> um, that's cuter, I think, because she has it tightened, like it's shorter, so it's sitting like in the small of her back a little bit better. Here's one. Oh, that's super cute as a little crop top for the beach or for working out. Love that idea. Here's one that has, oh, she ruched it up a bunch. Cute. So you really can do. Is it reversible? Is it meant to be worn front to back like that? It doesn't say, but I mean, depending on how the sleeve and the armholes are drafted, see how there's all this extra room here? I think that's because she's wearing it backwards. I kind of like, I think I like the ruching in the back. Now, if that little thing comes untied, nothing happens. It doesn't like fall off of you, but then you just have these dangly strings. So that might be a little bit annoying. Um, I think I would be inclined to just like tie it off into a really tight knot and then cut off the strings and just leave it as is and not adjust it, make it not adjustable. But cute. There's a, yeah, a lot of people decided to make this into a little yoga top. That's more relaxed, which is also nice for yoga. You don't always need it to be skin tight. Nice. Not what I was expecting. All right, this is a really cute pattern, adult reversible dress with these princess seams. We're getting into our older patterns, I think, which is why they're only going up to 4X at this point. Um, once I get sturdy, you can turn it inside out and you're good to go. Fantastic vacation dress. Yes. So is it just fully lined? Is that the trick? Yeah. It, and doing that just makes a real funky hem. It's just really hard to do that. So, okay, so you made the black version of the same fabric. That's a cool idea. Yeah, it's just a pretty basic skater dress pattern um, that you just sew a full lining to, and now it's reversible. But there are no line drawings for this one. Darn. Um, you can't really see. I don't think everybody has princess seams. So now I'm really confused about that. One side is princess seams and one side is not? Yeah, I wish there were line drawings so I could tell. No my drawings. Hmm. That's feeling weird to me. All right, next up. So many patterns. Flounce tee. So again, we've looked at lots of t-shirts today. This one has a flounce sewn in, um, like what would be a yoke-ish. Here's another day to night tunic and dress pattern. Oh, sorry, shirt, tunic, and dress pattern. Again, it has those ruffle sleeves, fitted tee. You guys got that by now. Bat wing dress. So this is basically two rectangles, and then you um, sew in this little, I don't even know if it's elastic or a drawstring or what. And that's what gives you a waist, but it also pulls up the corners of your rectangles and gives you this really pretty um, asymmetrical hem. Here's another hoodie, hidden pocket drawstring waistband. Oh, I see. The pocket is hidden in this seam here. Okay. Adult cold shoulder pattern. Again, I don't know that a lot of people are making those. This one is a 24-7 top. Another take on a t-shirt. Another take on a fitted knit dress, right? This one just has the tulip hem. Here is a knit skirt. Sunny day tunic and dress pattern. Again, fitted into a gathered skirt, multiple lengths. Beach cover up pattern. Cute, deep V in the back, a strap to hold it in place. But other than that, it's kind of like a, um, oh shoot, caftan. All right, good sport tank top pattern, shark bite top pattern. Let's take a look at this one. 
So, is Funky and on Trend. It features shark bite hemline. Did we know that that's what that was called? Because it looks like the shark came in, like this is the shark's mouth. I did not ever think of that. Um, short or three quarter sleeve options and optional color blocking of the sides. I fell in love with this design like so many of my testers and I hope you will too. Yeah, I love the idea of, um, well, she just tied hers all up, didn't she? Is, is, okay, everybody's is the same length. You only have a color block option or not. So that length is not my favorite. Um, this to me, oh gosh, but it is supposed to be like a tunic. I don't know. I have a hard time with that. I do like, I guess this is going to sound terrible, but I do like when a little bit of the crotch shows. Ah, that sounds awful. Proportion, I think. That's why I like it better. Sheer sides. Now that is a really cool option. But this just looks a little bit sad. A little bit sad, right? It's like long dog ears. What's that dog that always looks sad and has the long floppy ears? But I did want to see this woman here. Where's hers? Is this the her? No. They had the same similar color bodice. All right, I don't see her. But hers looked the best, I think. Yeah, I think proportion is key here and figuring out sort of where it should hit on you lengthwise, I think it's critical. If the little things are going like, I know in the line drawings they go down to your knee, but in my opinion, that's just a little too long. All right, penultimate page. Basic tee pattern, cute little swimsuit pattern. This is the same knit top that we've seen over and over again, the off-the-shoulder top, sewn into a skirt, different lengths. Little muscle tee, how cute is that? You've got a vacation romper pattern bundle. So we already looked at the vacation romper, didn't we? Maybe we didn't. This is actually reminding me of that black crinkle rayon jumpsuit that I made that all of you hated. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I told you guys that this thing was cool. Nobody believed me. Oh, man. But this is just like a mommy and me version. Okay, maybe the crinkle rayon wasn't the best choice of fabric, but that pattern is so comfortable. You got to try one like this. Maybe this one at $5. Oh, oh, wait, it's the bundle. So if you just buy the woman's version for $5, you've got to try it. You just got to try it. Is hers in knits? Yeah, she recommends a knit. So mine was not. Mine's woven. So maybe that is another thing that would make it um, a little bit better. And in this one, too, you could sew in a shelf bra, just exactly how I showed you last week. Here's the regular vacation romper. You guys got to try it. It's real comfortable. All right, feel pretty pants. So they're just elastic waist, shorts, uh, capris, or pants. Different rises. So that's kind of a good basic if you don't have a pattern like that. Swimsuit, tunic, top and dress pattern. Again, with our off the shoulder, with the ruffle. We've seen it a thousand times. Um, you can either do elastic waist, you can belt it, or you can uh, do a button front. So lots of options there, but we've seen that design already a bunch. Same with this one. This is the same as that dress that we looked at earlier with the kind of waterfall off the sleeve. This is the shark bite basically with an open front called the free spirit shawl pattern. Super great to just throw in your car or in your bag. It's like wearing a blanket, adult everyday tea pattern. Um, that's a bundle tea dress pattern. Adult be greater. Be greater top. All right, let's be greater. Okay. Is a huge trend. It features a high low hemline and varied front length options, including crop top, tunic, and dress. The sleeves can be tank, short, 
long or long cupped. So many ways. Yeah, so this, she's not wrong. This super high-low situation is, was a thing. I don't know how much of a thing it is still, but I would wear this, <laughs> even if it's not on trend. Again, it's the idea of it, like, covering your bum so you can wear it with leggings. I don't love it with jeans, but, um, with leggings, does she have leggings? Yeah, leggings and, and thigh-high boots, a thousand percent. Look how cute it is as a dress. I mean, it is a simple design, right? There's no seams here. Um, you just got your set-in sleeve. There's some shaping through the waist, which is nice. This woman is a pair to a T. Um, so if you're a pair like I am and you see a fellow pair and they look great in their dress, you're like, yes, yes, I could definitely wear that. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the look, you know, leggings and booties and this little like, I don't know, like tux tails for lack of a better reference. But then you can even go a little bit higher and ha and show off a lot more of your leg line. Oh, and she just put on these little shorty shorts. It would be really cute, too, if you put on boxer shorts. Not boxer shorts. Biker shorts. Boxer shorts would be a little bit strange. But biker shorts would be really cute. Here's another good legging version. So think of it as like a tunic dress thing, right? It just has a little bit of something, something. Which, as we've said, that's me. Basics with a twist. And a lot of you, too. I see your comments where you're saying, oh, my gosh, basic is with a twist. That's me. That's me. All right. So we've got a regular plain old cardigan. This one does have a waist seam with some gathers. So I bet it looks really cute in the back. Um, adult half pipe tee because it's split right down the middle. And you can do a little heart design. That's cute. Be captivating dress. This is a fitted dress with a wrap top sewn into a pencil skirt. All variations on the same. Thing. She's just mixing and matching tops and bottoms and calling in a new pattern. Uh, going home. I don't really know what that means. Going home. Okay. just It's a raglan sleeve shirt dress with a cowl. Actually, if you made this, you would wear it all the time. It's a great... Where is? Do they have the cowl dress? I need a cowl dress for this um, fall. Oh, look at this picture. Cute. She's so happy. I don't love a band on a top, but I do love a cowl neck. Um, and so a, no one made the cowl neck dress. Darn. But cowl neck dress will really like cover all your bases for the fall. Cool cowl neck. Lengthen it to whatever this dress length is here. You can wear it with boots, with leggings. Bare-legged, whatever you want, be really cute. Okay. This is an adult wrap skirt pattern, so you have some options for adding a ruffle. Really, really sweet. This would be more ideal, I think, for spring. I can see myself coming back and making a version just like this. Well, maybe not just like that. But the idea is right. The fabrication has got to be um, spot on. Something lightweight and drapey. Also a little bit low sitting on their uh, waist a little bit low. Look how cute this is. Again, sitting right on her hip bones though. So, Or maybe a little bit above her hip bones. So I would lengthen the rise a little bit. Just for me and my shape, you know, us pairs, we got to... We got to find a, a small curve in there somewhere. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is cool. It's a poncho pattern. Nice deep cowl neck. And then it buttons up the side. That's really nice. Lightweight sweater knit. You can even make one for your kiddo. How cute is that? There's the... Didn't we look at Be Adventurous already? Game time hoodie. Just has contrast sleeves. Another, like we've seen, oh, this is the legging pattern. Alt, oh, wait, urban legs pattern. Shorts, capri, top, regular, long and tall leggings. Okay. I bet her leggings are really good. Considering how much experience she has with knits uh, designing, I bet her leggings are awesome. Hipster dress pattern. This is a dress with a hood, I think. Is that what makes it hipster? Is that a hipster thing? Uh, 
Uh, yeah. It's a sweater dress with a cowl or a hood. Cute. So maybe this is the one I should make and not the other one. But this one doesn't have a waist seam or anything. It's just a straight shot. She doesn't look like she likes it very much. But also I can't tell if she's just given us attitude. Well, she looks confused. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that on a pair, now that I'm thinking about it. Cute on these girls, though. So I'll stick with my original. Okay, we have... Bundle... Watch and see. So this again is another knit t-shirt dress. This one just happens to have a side angle. Bundle fairy jacket pattern. Waterfall cardigan, basically. An open front cardigan. Be graceful. Again, we've got our same knit bodice with a gathered skirt. This one just happens to be long. In fact, a lot of these are starting to look the exact same. I can't even really tell the differences. Um, I love the 90s is nice because it has a, at least a higher waist seam. We haven't really seen that yet. So like a baby doll dress, basically. Those are really comfortable in the fall because there's nothing constricting your belly whenever you go eat Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> fall in love sweater, kind of a basic sweater. Fireside has like a drop shoulder. And then the True Crush cardigan um, is the same cardigan design, really just has a hood sewn into it. Fully lined, too, which is interesting. All right, this is our last page. We've got the dashing dress top, which I think a lot of people may be sewing for Halloween. Are these Halloween costumes? Um, it is a fit and flare dress with a little collar, but this is a top with a collar. So these are pretty much the same thing. They just attached a gathered skirt onto this. I don't know. And then there's I Love the 90s again. Oh, here's a, a hooded cape. That's cute. Stay cozy jacket pattern. Let's look at this. Fall and winter must have oversized hood. Optional belt and pockets. What else? You can tell by the floral with the stripes, like how old this pattern is. All right, here it is on a mannequin. So it's just a shawl. It's just a shawl jacket, shawl cardigan. All right, that looks like a robe. All right, there's a bundle. Here's a t-shirt that, I mean, didn't we just see that t-shirt a couple pages ago? Here's the traveler top pattern, which has that shark bite hem, but this one is made out of like sweater knits and has a, a shawl collar instead. Um, That's a bundle. Go exploring cardigan. It has a nice um, hemline detail. Right? It's like squared off in the front and then scoops down the back. I kind of quite like that. And then the pockets are contrast. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Fabrication is tough. I think she did the best job with fabric. It's got to be kind of stable to hold up this right angle. And I think with some of these other ones, you're getting like, I don't know, kind of weird right angles. Weird, definitely weird sagging pockets. That's pretty much impossible to avoid in a knit unless you're just stabilizing it like crazy. But interesting, nonetheless, something a little bit different. All right, bundle, Chapman cardigan. So this is the same thing that we just looked at. It just doesn't have the lower part um, and also no hood. So an open front cardigan with these little patch pockets in front. 
um, Happy Dance Romper. Again, you guys, it's the MC Hammer Romper, but it's good. Don't knock it until you try it. <laughs> this is the Be Confident pattern. So it is a fit and flare, fit, fitted bodice with a circle skirt, peplum. Um, and then you have a Beach Dreaming crop top pattern. So this is a cropped t-shirt. A uh, breezy top and dress, again, skater style, fitted through the bodice, and then kind of like a, I don't know, quarter circle skirt or something like that. Now, this is a swing top, so this is beautiful little silhouette, but has no waist seams or anything like that. So you can see, it's all one thing. Swing tops are so comfortable to wear, especially in like a little bit of a cropped length. It can add like, here's one, it can add like, I don't know, just like a, a chicness to everything. Hers is like two different, I guess she color blocked it, but it's hard to tell are both of those knits. I'm not sure, but a swing top or dress. They are really cute. Did anybody make the dress? Does this even come in a dress? No, it's just a top. You can lengthen it into a dress easily and have a swing dress. Although they probably sell a pattern that <laughs> is that design that you could just buy and not have to worry about um, hacking the pattern yourself. There is a lot to be said for that. I'm not knocking it. You know, like there are people out there who were like, I just don't want to touch a drafting ruler. I get that. Um, so this uh, Ellie and Mac has something for you. Certainly you can find a t-shirt dress that you like here. They have about a dozen to choose from. So I would love to know what you guys think of all of these patterns. Um, were there any that really stood out to you? Are there any that you're going to buy? Um, leave the, leave your notes in the comments section below. Um, otherwise that is going to do it for me today, y'all. I will be back next Friday, as in every Friday, with another First Impression Friday video. Who will I cover next? If you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments as well, and I will add them to my list. But I will see you all very soon. Bye!